Hello, friends, and welcome to The End of the Line. And for many reasons, it's both the end of the year and it's the end of the series we've been working on for pretty much the latter half of it. 36 episodes and 100 new sparks later, I'm going to be the first to say welcome to the family. I just wanted to personally let you all know how special you truly mean to me, and this next year is going to be honestly huge for us, and as I grow, I promise that I won't forget for even a single second how like you guys stood next to me and really powered me through a lot of this year. It's been, it's been really hard, of course, everyone has had, you know, the, the struggle this year, if honestly the past couple of years. But, nonetheless, let's go ahead and send this year off in only a way that the cosmos could allow, and a supernova of excitement, that's what to come for the next year. As always, just know that each and every one of you are loved, and I look forward to seeing what will you'll all become in the future, and I guess until then, let's go ahead and finish this game. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back, friends! Sorry about that just random disappearance. Um, so I was like sitting here, I was like explaining, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. And then everything just turned off and I'm like, it's dark in here. <laughs> so we will go ahead and restart that back up and start moving through it again. Um, we'll take the fast route down this time. <laughs> uh, you can sleep at the campfire to speed time up. That's, I've always wondered what that function did. That's kind of cool. Actually, I should have probably done that. Wow, that means I would have been able to save so much time, like, moving through this. That's crazy. Damn nature. You scary. <laughs> All right, let me kill this music in the background. But, yeah, that's uh, that, that did give me the good startle. Okay. Now, we shall take a nap, then. Speed time up just a little bit. I guess we have, what, it's 20 minutes, about, roughly before we die, so let's just give it like 10, five minutes, 10, let's do 10 minutes. We'll do 10 minutes, we'll sleep for 10 minutes. That'll give us 10 minutes to explore and hopefully learn about things and stuff, right? Let me doze off, see, and we will sleep for 10 minutes. All right, now you can do this, it's kinda cool. Also, let me switch over to main screen so you guys are not looking at my face the whole time. Um, I'm assuming this is seconds. Yeah, seconds to minutes. Minutes to seconds. All right, let's see. This is a very slow process. Or is this like done in like our species time? Is this really like, <laughs> it's like about to be 15 minutes or some shit. I think five minutes should probably be more than enough time then. Give myself 15 minutes to mess around with stuff. Oh, what a good sleep. Fantastic. Sometimes you just gotta sleep and feel rested. Look up. Alright, we'll make our way down there. Hopefully not get killed thrown into the sun, which is what it's looking like it's going to exactly do, huh? No! Let's not kill ourselves, because I'm pretty sure we just did! No! <laughs> Fucking autopilot. <laughs> at it again. <laughs> Coming at my neck. <laughs> That's like the second time autopilot has killed me. It's, it's on a roll, dude. It's got look at all this blank screen of me sleeping. <laughs> oh man, fucking got double killed over here. All right, let me doze off again. <laughs> you didn't know that till recently that you could just sleep, dude. The autopilot is a straight murder. Dude. It's a it's not only is it a murderer, it's also a menace, dude. It's a straight menace to society. <laughs> It has killed me, effectively. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I, I have slung shot. I actually got away. There was one video, which you'll see whenever I post it all up to YouTube, but there was one that I literally was like, I don't know how I turned the bad into a good. Like, I was I was much closer to the sun. Than I, it was, like, pretty much touching my engine on the right side. And I, like, slung. I literally had to keep, like, and I wasn't in 
Like I wasn't in my spaceship. That's that's what made it scary. It wasn't. I I was I I went up onto the station up there, and like I I was in my person, and I I missed the shot getting from the other side to the other whenever you jump through. And I had to, like, slingshot around the sun with just, like, my body. <laughs> and that was a terrifying experience. <laughs> oh. I was like, can we do it? Is it even possible? We, like, went around the sun, like, four times before we finally got to, like, break away from it. It was kind of funny. There we go. <laughs> Alright, in theory this should be fine. We should be fine. <laughs> Unless we get hit by the interloper or some shit. That's happened also. <laughs> yeah, going against the sun is, is damn near impossible. Okay, so we are going to mess around with the twins. Specifically the twins node. Because I feel like we have to land there, right? That's just a thing that has to happen. Oh, what the hell? I'm still an autopilot. Perfect. Alright, I've also jumped out of my ship so happily and I, I end up killing myself. Um... Where be this bridge? Uh, that's the other side. Here's the bridge. All right, let's go ahead and move on over here. Let's see what we can find. All right, here is the twins. How can I interact with this planet? So the Nomai is trying to get in here, right? It is broken. Why would the Nomai be trying to get into this one, right? This broken tower that seems to not take us anywhere. Remember, because didn't we sit in this one before and like it just never took us anywhere? So does that mean that this is the one that, oh, or is it brittle? No. Where does this one take us? Can I rotate this? Because this person was trying to get to here before they died. Like what? What would this be modeled after? I'm trying, well, it's got cactuses in it, and that's cactuses are found on the twin, right? Huh. Use the hidey hole, maybe. Is there a hidey hole? Maybe I can go around it. Or maybe I could go above it, too. There is, like, a the entrance on the top layer, right? What could be up here? Uh, like I'm trying to stay here, and I'm hoping this doesn't pull me up, or this is going to be really bad. I should really get down into that one. But it's too late now. I can't make the decision. Yeah, I don't trust myself. <laughs> yeah, that was almost bad. I was going to so get pulled to the bottom. I did not want to have to fall all the way to the other side of the planet. I just didn't want to deal with it. Was there a hidey hole? There could have been a hidey hole. Am I blind? Well, I guess I didn't want to check around. I'm also uh, partially oblivious, so hidey hole. Is there an hidey hole? Huh. 
<laughs> Sorry, my lukewarm brain is showing. <laughs> This is like kind of broken. Well, I, I know that this thing has to go to the center of this planet because the only way that I can get into that chamber, it's going to have to be through teleporting, right? Because if I can't teleport anywhere, then like... I don't, I don't know what else to do, because... Maybe do what you say. Was there a hidey hole? Maybe not. Maybe there was, and I just can't see it. I'm being dumb. But I do want to look up here. I have three minutes of auction left. What... First, let me get in here and avoid all this death. Ugh. Well, I, I feel like it's going to have to go to the center of the planet. That's why I was looking up underneath it before. Because, like, I feel like it has to hit either underneath the planet or inside of the core. Like, I don't know. There has to be, like, the only way we can get into that thing is to teleport. That's, like, the only thing. Is there anything up here I can get into? No. About up here. Eh. Smooth transition, easy peasy. But am I actually almost in space up here? Like, should I am? <laughs> oh, you said about the black hole logs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably up here. <clears throat> well, I know that you can, like, use them to... I mean, I thought, I thought I might be able to, like, pop them out or put a new one in, maybe, or some shit. Like, I don't know. I guess I have to take this to the other wall somewhere, right? Yeah. We'll have to go get oxygen real quick, but let me go into the timber heath one real quick. Eh. Oh, this isn't the one that breathes. Oh, no. It's this one. It's not even this one. I'm going to actually die to O2. I'm so tilted. There's my ship. Come here. Ship, please. No. Come here. Yeah, my God. <laughs> she. She. My God. Um. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pop this in on the wall it's somewhere around here I know there's a wall in one of these ones that I can put things in this one yeah it's this one eh. Eh. nice Friends, visiting from the Hanging City, we are playing the Astrodome of the High Energy Lab and the Ember Twins. I welcome the Ember Twins. My gratitude to the uh, room we found me, the High Energy Lab, is 
building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised you didn't see it. I imagine otherwise that our immensely clever uh, Conway and I lose his head if we weren't atomically attached to it. Okay. Maybe this is some this. So some time has passed and I've checked with you, Pi, and how are you and the idea of progressing the Sun Station plans? I present my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Right. Oh, this is the one I mean this is the one that takes us to that's right, this one takes us to the actual sun station, yeah. We've already been to the sun station. I really just want to just look at these. Is there any way, like, around them? In them? Beside them? Anywhere? I was kind of hoping it was the one on the black hole one, since you were able to, like, walk underneath it, I thought maybe like, oh, if I'm underneath it, when it finds the celestial body, it'll teleport, but that doesn't make sense. I feel like for, eh, it's gonna hurt. Okay. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> what is this? Giving me the competitive edge. <laughs> So we know that there's a white hole and the black hole, right? Well, I, I read the, I've read the, that one like a half a million times. Uh oh, this is good. Excuse me. Thank you. Sheesh. I like, I've read, I've like read every log. Like that's what I did last time. I guess you weren't here for that last time, but I've literally have read every single log, like <laughs> verbatim, top to bottom. And I don't know what my small brain can't wrap its head around whatever I'm supposed to do either. Or I just haven't seen it yet. That could have also happened. So I've read every... The black hole logs are here. And like, the warp align with the warp receiver is point, rather a warp tower aligns with the central of its corresponding body. Right, so if it's lining with the corresponding body, it would be below it. So there'd have to be something either upside down. It could be from the actual other Ashwin, but unless I can change the actual warp receiver to a black hole one instead of like the white hole one, it won't change. Unless I can change it, then that would be really big. But I, I thought so far all of them I haven't been able to change. <clears throat> The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Um, with the a single body, the astral... Wait. Uh, the hourglass tens are so close together that they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. Okay. That's actually relevant. Um, with all the other warp, or warp towers are being constructed on the Ashwin, while six warp receivers are being constructed at different locations. But those are receivers, not transmitters. The Nomai uh, named Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. A uh, diagram depicting alignment between the angle between the warp tower and its corresponding bottle. The warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body. This results in a slightly larger warp window that lasts roughly several seconds. Um, anyone stepping onto the warp stone performing active window will immediately be warped. Okay. So the only other question I would have is, you come here. I didn't exactly want to be in here, but sure. <laughs> Oh, into the planet, please. Thank you. This thing here. This. Ow. 
So unless I can change this thing, it doesn't matter if it lines up with that. It won't teleport me. Because I can't ever change this. Right? Right. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Where does this go? Okay, this is the... What if I'm holding one of those cores? Like, you know what I mean? Would it teleport me? I mean, that's kind of an abstract long, long shot of an idea. But I mean, I, I'm just trying to think of what, why would I be able to pick those up? Obviously to make the black holes, then why would there be so many of them? Because it just needs to receive the black hole, right? I mean, there's no way I can get in there and pick up one of those, those receivers now, but. I don't know if that'll work though. I feel like that's kind of cheesy if that works. If that does work, I'm gonna actually be mad. But it wouldn't make sense because I'd have to be under wherever the transmitter is, which is, unless I make my own with the white and the black hole, but that, no, that still doesn't make sense either. I'm thinking too much. Hmm. So it might be advantageous to figure out where the twins align up with this planet, right? It's the next run. So I'm just going to kind of follow this thing around. Twins are coming. Hopefully I can see it before it blows up because it's getting really close. Yeah. Thank you. So it lines somewhere over here. Well, I guess they circle under there. Yeah, they count as the same celestial body. Right, 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 I get that. But what else would take me to the center of, like, that's, that's what I'm not understanding, is if they count as the same celestial body, right, and teleporting to the, the one on the right side teleports you to the actual planet itself. The other one teleports you to the sun station. The one on the left has to teleport you somewhere because it doesn't work. So that one is probably the one that takes you to the center. But it doesn't take you unless... I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what I have to do to, to interact with that. I'm trying to think...